uh, Chinese opera is not what we think of opera here, mm -hmm. right? It's completely different. It's more uh, a stylized, learned movement and a way to sing, and also the makeup is very stylized. Mm -hmm. The costumes are very stylized, and there's only one way to do it. There's not two ways to do it. So if you're a character in a Chinese opera, you have to do the makeup mm -hmm. and the costume exactly like it's always been. You just answered like four of the questions <laughs> and like maybe half a page there on, you my, go. on my Good. paper. <laughs> okay, so what were your um, reactions to it, the first reaction? The first time I went, mm -hmm. I was uh, admiring the completeness of the art form. The completeness being there's text, there's mm -hmm. singing, instruments over to the side and very uh, uh, ancient Chinese instruments are playing. Mm -hmm. It's not like what we think of an orchestra here, but it's a, a large chamber ensemble. Uh, but also the physicality of it and how they move and the acrobatics, uh, much more than anything you'll see in American opera. The vocalists? The exactly. vocalists, they all are acrobats, they're musicians, uh -huh. They're singers, they do their own makeup. I mean, they're, it's a complete art form. Oh. As, as, and it's very stylized, and you have to do it within the historical uh, uh, perspective of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the orchestra, is it like in a pit? How no, no, no. It's on stage, but over to the side. Yeah. yeah. And so. The, and then they, you know, they have different props and tables and chairs which are brought on and off, depending. And the stories are short. Mm -hmm. uh, and it can be, if you go to a Chinese opera, it may not be the same opera. Like we have Act 1, Act 2, Act 3. It might be three different operas. Okay. Like we would do three one-act operas or something mm -hmm. like that. But it also can be a continued story as well, it de okay. depending on what they're performing at that time. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's like somewhat sequels, like the first act? It could be. Finished? Okay. Yeah, it could. Uh, I, and I'm not an expert. Now, the second time I went, they had super titles, so I could actually appreciate even more. Mm -hmm. So I, I looked, see what they were saying in English, and I could even have a better grasp of what was going on. Before, I would, I just admired the art of it, but then you add the text, and I started understanding the meaning of what they were trying to get across. And it was a very, a lot of it was just very historical types of things as well. Okay. And can you, can you compare and contrast the um, different vocal styles? Completely like how it sounds, their breath supports, everything. <laughs> just completely compare and contrast. <laughs> <laughs> to me, singing is singing. Mm -hmm. But they have a certain way of doing it. And a lot of it is more what I would call throat controlled, uh, experimenting with different res resonances, mm -hmm. you know, to get across that uh, traditional way of singing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, very, it's that, very traditional. Okay, so like how we have our chest voice, our falsetto, do you notice that with Chinese opera? I, I wasn't thinking in those terms. Oh, okay. I was just admiring. Uh, the production and the art of what they were doing. Now when I go to American, in America or Europe, mm -hmm. and I see Western opera, it's difficult for me to enjoy it because mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm a stage director also. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at every technical aspect of the production. I'm, I'm finding out where the lights are coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wondering how this uh, effect was produced. Uh, I'm listening for the vocal the vocalism that they're doing, mm -hmm. uh, the acting style, the movement on stage, is it, uh, depending on the, the time period in which it's set, is it period movement, or have they updated it to a present day? Yeah. There, there are different types of movement that, mm -hmm. which one has to learn to be an opera performer. Mm -hmm. But then when you're a stage director, you're also, how is the coordination between the pit, the orchestra, and the stage? Is also that is it mic'd these days? Almost everything you see has a microphone involved in some way or the mm -hmm. other, uh, because they build the theaters too big, and because they want to put like in the Fox forty six hundred people in there, 
there's no way you're going to project over an orchestra in a 4600 seat hall. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some halls that are beautiful, but uh, acoustically, but there are very few. Uh, so it has to be enhanced with either lavalier body mics, could be floor mics, could be mics hanging overhead, depending on what, and you actually have a sound sound guy here. sitting there and mixing it as it goes. Wow. Uh, even on Broadway now, there's hard, uh, it's a little hard for me to enjoy the musicals these days because it's not acoustic anymore. Mm -hmm. In fact, the pit is covered, and all you see is the conductor, and the pit is all the instruments are mic'd, mm -hmm. all the people on stage are mic'd. So the people on stage could be singing upstage uh, with their backs to the audience and it would be as loud as it would be if they were down on the apron singing out to the audience. But the sound engineer is sitting there mm -hmm. moving all these buttons to make everything balanced and even. So you don't te like, technically like that because you think it's just too much technology rather than... Well, I can, I can watch it on television. Mm -hmm. Actually know. being there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. but I, if I'm in a public performance, I want to see the reality of it, the living stage, mm -hmm. and the microphone takes the life for me out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in Chinese opera, were they using microphones? No, not in this particular one. Okay. Now they could if it were in a larger space, but mm -hmm. the ones I saw, I, it was a big space, but it was more like a dinner theater. Okay. Uh, and actually, the, we were sitting around the table. But you have to pay a little bit more for the ticket, mm -hmm. and there were other people behind us that didn't have a table. We we had food that we could sit there and and, and, eat well? and watch it. And there were waiters and waitresses that could come by. And, wow. and this was in China. Yes, okay. it was in Beijing. Ooh, take me. Take me. So going back to the costumes, were you able to tell who was who just simply by the costumes? If Absolutely. You didn't hear, okay. Absolutely. And but, how? But the costume and the makeup. Mm -hmm. Right. It was all very stylized. Okay. And you yeah. could tell who was the Don and the Jin and everyone? Exactly.